Welcome back to UK's strongest man from the city of Belfast. Well, we've had one event, and this man, Glenn Ross, leads the pack with Spencer Highland of England. And there's more to come. I'm Glenn Ross, the daddy from Northern Ireland. I'm 37 years of age, and uh, I'm here to regain my title. I haven't had a bad career. I've won seven British titles from Britain through the United Kingdom titles. I've also won six international competitions. And I'll just keep going for as long as my body will let me. Event two, the Sweetie Snatcher. Two athletes, mano a mano, have to pull each other over the grey lines. In this weather, who knows the outcome? Well, you can see it's raining quite heavily now. Lee Allen coming in from the right of your shot now against uh, Spencer Highland, the big man. Um, and I have a feeling that the conditions may well play a part in this, Fraser. They're going to play a massive part. You can see the rain is smashing down there on that cobbled surface. Um, really uh, they're using some rock climbing footwear there to try and get a grip but I really don't think it's going to make any difference in these conditions. Well I'm not sure who's got the advantage here the taller of the two men or the shorter of the two it's, it's going to be very interesting to see. Well I don't think we can write Spencer off he's such a gutsy athlete and so experienced. Approaching that line pretty quick. He's got momentum, hasn't he, now, which is going to be very difficult for <laughs> Lee Allen. And Lee Allen's gone. A smile at the end of it all, but that was a pretty tough pull there by um, Spencer Highland. He goes through to the semi final. It's actually those sudden jerking movements, once you've got somebody moving, it helps enormously. And the weight difference was significant as well. Well, yeah, Spencer just used his body weight to get him over the line. Well, the second of the heats, Ian Plews versus Sean Kenny. And uh, who's going to prevail here, I wonder? Oh, I say, well, Sean Kenny just totally destroyed his opponent there. Got him moving very early. Once you get him moving, overcome the inertia of the man, then it becomes a bit easier. Well, Ross Tweedy nearest to us, Adam Townsend on the far side, the big man. Look at the way in which he's got him moving. Well, that is a very, very competent piece of pulling indeed. Total dominance. Yeah, again, an experienced athlete and uh, the bigger man just pulling him over the line. Well, doesn't need too much introduction, but uh, I just wonder, Glenn Ross versus Rob Frampton. And uh, Frampton in your shot now. I just wonder how this will go. Ross is supposed to be the man to win this, but he's not had a good start. Good start there by uh, Frampton. Yeah, I think Rob Frampton will give Glenn a run for his money here. Yeah. Well, this is a more equal competition, certainly. Look at the jerking movements. Those are the movements that get a man running. And, and, and actually, if it, the longer it lasts, the more um, uh, Glenn Ross is at a disadvantage, I would think. Well, you can see here that uh, Rob just won't let Glenn lean back a bit. Every time Glenn goes to lean back, Rob's pulling him back up. Well, this is a very, very much uh, closer competition indeed, and I just wonder the fatigue. It's not. This is not just about strength. This is about uh, a, an oxygen uh, capability as well, and that's where Glenn Ross might well find himself wanting. And that little situation will have helped him. Got a little bit of a breather there. Well, very much so. This event will test both of their fitness levels. Well, Frampton's got a good start again, goes down again. Now, is he over the line? Yes, indeed, he's given the win, and that's it. So, Rob Frampton against Glenn, Glenn Ross. Ross, who won the first of the uh, tasks, has not done so well here. Yeah, it's a massive scalp for Rob. I have to say, that was not expected. That was a fairly convincing one for you there. How are you feeling? Tired. We're good. It's a nice event, nice and short. Thank you. Uh, good explosive. Nice. Really feel it on the uh, on the legs and the calves and stuff. Yeah, it's good. That sweetie snatcher, that Rob, it was like a brick. Just couldn't move him. And I'm just exhausted. But the more I pulled him, I says, I'm, I'm not, I'll be totally spent for the rest of the events. So it just went on this. 
I think it's a good point that he makes there that this is only the heat of course the top six from the eight go through to the uh, final or go round to the next round and uh, and and so it is a matter of just getting in that top six really as we come to the first of the semi-finals Spencer Highland versus Sean Kenny what about this from Sean Kenny Sean Kenny absolutely flew on that against Spencer Highland that was a little bit easier than I thought it might be yeah that would be a big shock he took some points off Spencer there I think Spencer just relaxed off it too much well certainly it gives uh, Sean uh, an opportunity to go for eight points doesn't it now Adam Townsend versus Rob Frampton now the second of the semi-finals who will join uh, Sean Kenny in the final well you're certainly not going to bet against Rob Frampton now are you well, absolutely not. The way, the ease with which he's moving his man. He's just got that final bit to go. <laughs> That's it. He says, That's enough. Well done. Rob Frampton goes through. So it's Sean Kelly, or Kenny rather, versus Rob Frampton in the final. But of course, before we get to that, we've got the third and fourth playoff, and it's between Spencer Island and Adam Townsend. And of course, six points and five points on offer here, with the final offering eight and seven. So. Um, much to be gained from this, but it, at least five points guaranteed from this uh, uh, pull-off. Now then, what about this one, Fraser? Yeah, two very experienced athletes here. You couldn't call it. Well, certainly there, Adam Townsend gets it. He gets the six points, and Spencer Highland gets five. And this is how it happened. The techniques, the changing, the grip, the pull, those sudden little surges prove uh, to be the important factor. Rob Frampton versus Sean Kenny then in the final. Who will get the eight points? Will it be Frampton? Will it be Kenny? Look at Frampton go. Yeah, he's just built uh, for this oh, event. Oh, that was superb, wasn't it? Awesome. Well, it was the the speed at which, I mean, there's, an, there's the evidence of sheer power. Once he got a man moving, then it was so powerful. Look at this, he couldn't do anything about it. Thank you, Stuart. So results of the Sweetie Snatcher. Rob Frampton wins it over Sean Kenny, followed by Adam Townsend and Spencer Highland. It's in England, one, two, three and four. Ian Flues once again trailing the pack. So the overalls then, Rob Frampton now leading Group A on 14 points of England, as is Spencer Highland. He's second on 12.5, followed closely by Sean Kenny. An excellent start to the day for you. Very good, yeah, yeah, I liked it. The uh, Viking Press was good, I wanted double figures, which I just about got, 11, and then the Sweetie Snatcher, sort of tug of war thing, never done it before in my life, so uh, it was a good battle, really good. And I was, you know, lucky but unlucky to get Glenn in the first uh, first pull, which, uh, you know, really did pay off. I knew what I had to do after that, so um, yeah, I was really pleased with that, yeah. How are the conditions affecting things? Um, a little bit slippy underfoot, but, and we're all getting wet, but that's how it is, you know, we can't, we can't put money on the, on the Great British weather, so just gotta get on with it. So it's two events down and Rob Frampton of England beats Sean Kenny in the Sweetie Snatcher to move ahead of Group A. But there's more action to come and after the break it'll be the brick lift. A real test for these guys, especially in these conditions. Meanwhile from Belfast, it's the UK's strongest man. Join us after the break. <laughs> 